The year is 1945. The United States has been at war with the Imperial Nation of Japan for a little over three years. They now face the monumental task of taking the heavily fortified island of Iwo Jima, finally solidifying their place in the Japanese theater. The end game for American forces in the Pacific Front had always been the invasion of Japan. With the conquest of the Mariana Islands, U.S. forces were finally in position to begin air raids and bombing runs on mainland Japan in preparation for that invasion. Iwo Jima, a small volcanic island in between the Marianas and Japan, unfortunately served as a warning station for Japanese forces, allowing for Japanese defenses to be prepared for American bombing runs. The heavy losses suffered by these first air raids made U.S. leaders realize that they needed to take Iwo Jima before any serious bombings of Japan could begin. General Kuribayashi, commander of the Japanese forces on Iwo Jima, also realized the importance of the island and set about fortifying his position. He knew his forces would be heavily outgunned by the American military, so he created a series of complex tunnels around the island, hiding his artillery and providing his forces with a secure defensive position for an American assault. Those sneaky bastards! American intel was unaware of the fortifications around the island and had estimated that the invasion of Iwo Jima would only last about three to five days. The plan was to begin a pre-landing bombing of the island that would last for approximately 72 hours. This would be followed by an amphibious landing force that would secure the island in approximately four days. American forces believed that this would be easy and a small step towards their main goal of attacking mainland Japan. Move in, should take about three to five days. We'll cover every section of the island to take out the enemy. Yes, sir. Aye, right, sir. The American leadership thought the invasion of Iwo Jima would be easy. We thought it was going to be easy. It was not. But it wasn't. What transpired next was a 36-day hell with some of the most fierce fighting in the Pacific theater. It was the Battle of Iwo Jima. Hi, good afternoon, class. My name is Professor Burlingame. Today, though, you can call me Master Guns, because we're going to talk about the landing at Iwo Jima, one of the theater, Pacific theater battles in World War II. Now that the strategic plan for the United States has been laid down, we're going to begin to prep. So at L-74 days, we started to bombard the island of Iwo Jima with over a million pounds of ordnance from both aircraft and naval gunfire. On 19 February 1945, we landed on the beach. We hit seven landing zones with the 1st, the 3rd, and the 5th Marines. Our numbers exceeded 20,000 United States Marines against uh, enemy force that was approximately 20,000 Japanese. The fight would be long, the fight would be hard, and it would be tough because the Japanese were dug into 11 miles of tunnels across the four miles of the island of Iwo Jima. The battle would last 36 days, we would take numerous casualties, and we would finally secure the island on 19 March, and we would leave the island on 26 March, 1945. Let's raise the flag, boys!